podcast. My name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the conceptual massing environment. Here I have Revit opened up, and in the recent files window under families, there is a button to click and create a new conceptual mass. I select the mass Revit family template file that I want to work with. I hit open. And now my Revit software is, uh, has brought me into what's known as the conceptual massing environment. What you're seeing in 3D is your level one and two reference planes to work off of. You have the create tab and you have all the tools necessary to create model lines or shapes, reference lines or shapes, and reference planes or shapes. Let's say, for example, I start with the model line and use a rectangle command and draw on the, this level one. Remember, when you're working with the software, these objects that you create need to be associated to some type of plane. For example, here it's associated to it. If I select it, I can click the Create Form button, and this command actually is a command that's intelligent enough to know do I use the extrusion command, the sweep command, sweat blend command, so on and so forth. So it figures it out for you. You just click the command and it builds you the form. You also by default get what's known as the gizmo tool, which is this icon here. And you can left click and pull and make adjustments to the shape. You can also pick the face or the edge of an object and do the same thing. You can also pick the vertice of the object and you can also use the spacebar to flip the orientation of the gizmo tool from the world UCS to the user plane UCS and you can make adjustments to the shape of the object. So in a few seconds I can create a uh, unique 3D mass object uh, with that feature. In this conceptual massing environment, you also know that you have reference planes and reference lines to work off as well. Depending on what you are building and how you are building things, you may want to choose one or the other. For example, uh, here is a reference plane. I'm going to use my control key and make a couple more. I'm going to select a reference plane and make that the current reference plane and then I can draw a reference uh, say a reference spline for example on that plane I can pick another plane and do the same thing and then the third one as well Now, if I go through the process of selecting each one of these splines that I have created and use the Create Form button, it will start to actually build my shape based upon the skeletal structure that I have chosen. This is the beauty of the Create Form button command because you're not limited to saying this is going to be an extrusion or this is going to be a sweep. Uh, in this example, it has to be something other than those. Make sure, rules of thumb, when you're in this conceptual massing environment that you know what current plane you're working in and what type of object that you're using in order to use the create form command to build your object. Once your object is created, you can go ahead and put it into a Revit project. So for example, here I have a new Revit architectural project started up. We're back to our conceptual massing environment. We'll click load into project and allow it to see the mass object and we'll place it. We'll take a look at it in 3D and this is what your mass object looks like. If you need to say build a roof based upon this I would say use roof by face select the kind of roof you want to work with 
and then pick the face. If it doesn't let you build the face, build a roof off of this face, it's because the curvature structure is too uh, unique. Uh, too, there's too many curves going on. So what if, let's say, we try to do wall by face and pick something, I don't know, say brick four inch, or pick this face. It will build your wall, even though it's not horizontal or vertical, onto that face. If we zoom in, we can see what it looks like. If we switch to realistic, we can start to see what it looks like. And if necessary, we can take the massing object and don't show our mass object. And there you go. You have a very uh, interesting curved wall. And so that's a very quick uh, splash, uh, screencast on the conceptual massing environment and how to take a mass object and bring it into the Revit project environment. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.